Hello, every hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I write Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And I'm gonna do a pick a card, but I figured y'all haven't seen Pugsley in a long time, and he was just sitting here staring at me. So he's ready for me to get up. But I am gonna do this pick a card. I decided to do what they are saying about you behind your back. You have you guys gave me so many good ones. I'm going to do a, I'm gonna, probably going to do most of them. Somebody said to do career. I'm going to do that one next. And then um, um, we'll do one of what's coming towards you. Pick a card here. I'll space them out. But I was like, let me go through the list. And the first one I see is the one that I'm going to do. And the first one was, um, what are they saying behind your back? So just keep in mind, this does not have to be true. This is just what they are saying, okay? Um, so that's just like the trigger warning. It could be friends, family, or a lover, okay? This is just going to be what they're saying behind your back. Okay, lazy. You got to go. He smells like coconut oil. He had his, whoa, where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? This is like his favorite spot to sit up here on my arm, on my shoulder. You're trying to hold on to me. You're going to pull my wig off. You got to go. <laughs> go ahead. The dogs had a spa day today, too. And they have, he smells like coconut oil. He got a fresh cooked meal. Chicken and rice and veggies. They live the lavish life over here. They live the abundant life. All right. You can't stare at me while I do this. All right. So I'm going to do three piles. This will be kind of quick. First pile, pile number one. Okay, if somebody could timestamp for me, that would be so, 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 so great. If not, I'm going to have to go back. So, but pile number one, we have, we're going to use the Light Seers deck. Let me see. I don't, I don't have a pin right now. So I think it's 208. If somebody can timestamp that. Um, we're going to be using the Light Seers deck for pile number one. For pile number two, we'll be using the original Rider Waite Tarot deck. And then for pile number three, <clears throat> um, I forgot what this deck is called, but we're going to be using this one for number three. Okay. Go downstairs. Okay. All right. So 208 is the picking of the decks. Okay. So let's see here. Pile number one is going to start at 247. All right. So let's see here, Aries. For the Aries who pick pile number one, we'll pull three cards from here. What are they saying behind your back right now, Aries? Let's see here. Pull some Oracle messages and then we'll get into the tarot. Holy Spirit, his name is the message of pile number one. What are they saying here behind Aries? Back here. Let's pull three cards. They talking about you, Aries. They talking about you. Travel at the bottom of the deck. So let me see here. He's waiting right over there. Okay, so the first two cards came in reverse. We got communication, texting, phone calls online in reverse. And controlling, um, releasing, taking back power kinky in the bedroom. I don't think that applies to here, but we have spiritual growth, learning, expanding soul. Aries, I'm speaking to an Aries here who possibly could have cut off communication to a few people, more than one, some people, a specific person here. And they're, you know, they feel like maybe that you're doing this as a control mechanism, but some of you with releasing and taking back power, you could be taking back your power. Okay. We're going to see why. They could be definitely talking about your spirituality, your spiritual growth and the things that you're doing and going through. But I feel like there's still a bit of a resentment here about you not speaking to them or you're not talking to someone or you cutting off communication with certain people or a specific person. All right. So what are they saying here behind Aries at? House. Mm 
Distant Horizons. We got message and courtship messages in reverse here. So some of you could have relocated again with the distant horizons here. You could be traveling. You could be doing things, but I'm feeling like you could be just distant in general here. Okay. Maybe because of a relocation, but I'm feeling like you're distant in general. Some of you it could be because of your relationship. Maybe you're focused on a relationship and you're not speaking to people. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if you just cut somebody off because of a relationship or some people could be spec. Oh, if you are in a relationship, some people could be speculating it's because of your partner that you're not communicating with certain people here. And some of them, um, some of you, some of them could be talking about the relationship or a new connection that you're in. And if you're not in a connection, take it how it resonates. You could be about to be in one. But a lot of you, they're saying here about you cutting communication off here. And I want to say here, it doesn't even just have to be that you bought a new house, you relocated or you moved, this house energy just came through as stability, okay? So maybe you're just focusing on your stability um, in general here and you're becoming more distant. And I want to say it's maybe because you're not relating to certain people anymore. That's just me putting that in there, but they are, this is what they are saying. They are noticing that you are not communicating and it, it seems to be due to a spiritual elevation or a spiritual growth. Let me move my coffee over here. All right, let's see here. What are they saying behind Aries' back? Person on Aries' mind or whoever. They've come to this reading for. Okay. Yes, they like you. So you got family issues need to be resolved. Cheater, unfaithful and lying came in reverse. We have Empress energy and we have twin flames here. So this could have been somebody that you're in a relationship with or were in a relationship. Either they're talking about you getting cheated on or you being a cheater, Aries, okay? This could be a family member. This could be somebody here that you're really close to. They could be talking about family issues that's going on in your life. But most importantly, the, the strongest energy that I keep getting though with this Empress energy here is about your own elevation. Your self Empress energy is abundant energy. It's self-love. It's leveling up. So the cheater, unfaithful, and lying being in reverse, some of you could be healing from a relationship um, that was a twin flame that was very strong, very significant, and you're elevating, and people could be talking about that. So let's pull from the tarot here. Let's pull from the tarot. And again, some of them could be saying that you were the cheater, you were unfaithful. And if you've heard that, then you know exactly, you know, you know that's confirmation. Others of you. It could have been a situation that you went through. So what are people saying behind Aries back? What are people saying behind Aries back? Hmm, we got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Tem clarify this Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah, Temperance. And the Empress came out again. The Empress came out a bit again. Some of you, they're talking about you being focused on your business, maybe finances. I'm hearing money hungry. So this is something that they could be saying here with the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here and the Temperance. This is about healing, but also ignoring situations that put you in, in, in an imbalance or people in general. Maybe this could be a Sagittarius is what I'm getting here as well. Um... Let me see here. And then we have the Empress energy. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. This is standing out for me. And the Magician. Bless you. Some of you, they could be talking about if they know that you manifest or manifestation has something to do with your job or your abilities 
or maybe you talk about manifestation a lot. They're seeing you being like, they're tell they're saying that, you know, Aries is manifesting their way to the top. Some of you, they're saying that you're doing magic to get what you've accomplished here, um, or take, or to heal a situation here in the chariot. So I don't know how you feel about that, you know, um, depending on, you know, if they, if it was just hard work and effort, you know, and people are saying here that you've done something else to get where you're at is what I'm getting here. But let me see here. How are people feeling about Aries? What are they saying about this Aries? Pick for pile number one. Look, it don't matter what they're saying. These people here, they're talking about you being tuned in and tapped in, very spiritually inclined, okay? Very balanced, healing. Some of you, you're psychic, okay? Some of you are very intuitive, and the justice card, you're getting some, you got some sort of justice or karmic justice here. Some of you, it could have been a lawsuit payout specifically. If somebody is talking about the money that you made, especially with the 10 of Pentacles that you received. Last card here. Two of wands and the sun. Give me one more here. Clarify the two of wands. Oops, too many cards. I'm going to take that because that one flipped over. Eight of Cups. Tell me about the two of wands. All right. Ace of wands, nine of pentacles, seven of cups. I'm going to tell you this, Aries. Some people are saying that you are, that's what that two of pentacles are, is acting funny, ignoring people. And it doesn't, you know, you don't have to take the magic part or the manifestation part, but it is the magician is here in the chariot. And some of them are saying that you're acting funny because of your success. Okay. Or because of the things that you're accomplishing or you're focused on. And I could be specifically talking, there's, there's something here coming through about an Aries who's in a relationship. And, you know, some of them may be seeing it saying it's because of the person that you're with is keeping you from them. But I feel like if, you're with in a relationship, this person is very healthy for you. And maybe you guys could be, you know, getting it together, like as far as success and stuff like that. Don't take it if you're not in a relationship, but I am getting something here for Aries that's in a relationship. With the Empress, the High Priestess, and the Justice card, some people are talking about how you're getting this I don't want to say vindication, but it's like balance, justice, and you're glowing, you're flourishing, you're leveling up after you broke away from a situation. It could have been a toxic job, a relationship, or something like that, something that did you dirty, but you're like more in alignment than ever here. And you're moving forward by your own efforts and your own abilities here. And it's like, you know, I'm not getting really a hating energy. I'm just getting, this is what people are saying. Now, some people may be upset that you left them behind and you're no longer communicating with them. Some people, you know, there's always going to be some people going to talk about some, you're acting funny, but I'm not really getting a hating energy. I'm just getting that people are talking about your elevation here. Okay. Um, some could be mad that you left them behind. Um, because we got the two of wands and the eight of cups here, seven of cups. Some of, some people are confused if you went in a new direction here, but again, with the nine of pentacles, a lot of them are saying how you've been healing, you're healthier, you're just more vibrant. This is pre-empress energy and you got the empress. Okay. Nine of pentacles and the empress. This could be about your health in general. If you had health energy, health issues, you could be looking better, feeling, feeling better, glowing. Some of you could be pregnant and single. Okay. Let me just say that. Um, and that could be something that they're talking about here with the nine of pentacles and the empress. So they could be gossiping a little bit, but I didn't get the gossip card. There is a card in there that says gossiping. I didn't get that. This is just, this specific reading is just more about people are saying how you're not communicating with them anymore and you've elevated and, you know, you're leaving certain situations behind. I just want to say this, the Empress, the High Priestess and the Justice is a great combination of cards. Okay? This is a great combination of cards. This is like you getting everything that you deserve and then some because of the power of your mind, your intuition, your spirit, you being very tuned in, tapped in. So your spiritual growth is really, really elevating you. Okay. And in other people's eyes, they see it. They can't deny it. Okay. All right. That, that's, there's what it is. Some of you could be family who's saying that because the family issues card is here. You got the Empress energy here twice. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put these to the side. 
That's right. Okay. I'm going to take a sip. I'm going to wait until 15, 15.30. We're going to start tile number two. 15.30. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to put a message here for the Aries Collective. So it's tile number two. The Aries Collective who chose tile number two. The Aries Collective that chose tile number two. What are people saying about them behind their backs? Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels. So Aries Collective who picked tile number two. All right, let's pull three cards. Started at 15.30 for pile number two. <clears throat> what are they saying behind Aries back? Pile number two, I'll take those, but I'm going to pull one more since those came out together. Oh, goodness. A lot of cards are coming out. All right, so Aries, they got true love. Pure love, honest connection. We have money, okay? Wealth, luck, finances. We have children, okay? Childlike, innocence, fun. We have brunette, female, darker hair, intense, focus, youthful, music, fashion. This could be a same-sex um, situation here. Doesn't have to be. Some of you, they could be talking about how you changed your looks, okay, is what I'm getting here. But also with the young female and the children, some of them, somebody, some people could be talking about how you're, you're more carefree, you're having a lot of fun, and it could be because you're in a new relationship here with true love, okay? A relationship is coming towards you, but they will be talking about how you are having this more childlike, youthful energy. You're having fun. Some of you are making money too, and they're talking about the money that you made, or if you got a new job. Let's see here. As soon as I split the deck, I see unexpected income in courtship. I feel like this is might be for an Aries who's in a relationship or a connection. All right, let's see here. What are they saying about Aries? What are they saying about, what is this call number two? What are they saying here? We got the coffin. What are they saying about Aries behind their back? We have toil and labor, but this came in reverse. I flipped it over. What are they saying about Aries and I told you courtship. Tell me more. What are they saying about pile number two, Aries? That flipped back, didn't want to come out. What are they saying about pile number two, Aries? Journey. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Wealthy man from this particular deck. One thing they are saying about you, Aries, in this deck, if this resonates with you, is how much that you have changed, okay? And not just changed, it's like maybe you're doing less work, more money because the toil and labor is in reverse, but it doesn't mean that you didn't put in a lot of hard work before, okay? Um, also here is with something to hear about a relationship. Tell me about this. I don't need to pull a card for this. Some of you could have a long distance relationship and that's what they could be talking about because what the journey is here. Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Tell me about this relationship. What are they saying about Aries in this relationship? What are they saying about Aries in this relationship? Ace of Wands, this is a new relationship, a new beginning, very passionate beginning. Maybe you guys can't keep your hands off of each other. Page of Wands, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you, one second. Emperor. Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, this is very specific here, but I'm feeling like somebody is talking about you in a relationship. This could be a new relationship. Maybe you're dating someone younger and that's what they're talking about here. We have Aries here, Emperor right here, and the Six of Swords and the Two of Ten of Pentacles. 
I don't want to say that you move quickly, but I do feel like this is a positive situation and people are talking about you moving on to a new relationship, maybe rather quickly, but the new relate and you could be get you could have like about to be married or get married to somebody like in the process of getting married with the 10 of pentacles it doesn't have to be, but it's a long-term commitment that you're moving to. And it seems to be newer or the person is younger, but I'm also feeling that it's like a youthful, like this person brings good energy out of you. Okay. And so people are talking about that. Um, Seven of Cups here. So you must have come from, where did this Aries happen in the past with this Aries? Yeah. Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords here. So your past situation, either you were in a relationship, you were putting all the work in, all the effort, you were burdened, it was a lot, and you're moving to a new relationship and it's a lot better, it's a lot funner, you're you're looking more youthful, you're having more fun, maybe you're even traveling with the Six of Swords here and they're seeing you travel with this person here. But I'm just getting that you're having a, you're, you're in this more youthful energy and people are talking about that. People are watching. They're seeing here with the death, or I keep wanting to call this a death card, but with the coffin and the toil and labor in reverse, it's like you're a completely different person. Okay. You're in a completely different person. I want to say whether you're in a relationship or not, but that specific message is someone in a relationship like how you've completely changed, but I don't think it's in a bad way. It's, it's not in a bad way. So tell me, um, what are they saying about pile number two, Aries? Pile number two, Aries, what are they saying about them behind their back? Ten of Pentacles came out too, because some of you could be making money. You could be a business owner. I think I got that for pile number one too. What are they saying about pile number two, Aries, behind their back? Look at that Empress, the glow up. I feel like that's the collective energy though, because the Empress came out in pile number one. Some of you could be pregnant, having children here, but this is about your self-worth, self-love here. Five of swords. Some of you overcame some sort of narcissistic situation, maybe a narcissistic third party, and you're rebuilding yourself after it. The Ten of Cups wanted to come out. What are they saying about this Aries? And your finances are definitely increasing. Look at that. The devil. Tell me about this energy here. What are they saying about this Aries with the devil? Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. Yeah. I, yeah. Look at that. De wow. So the somebody here got out of a toxic situation, a, a relationship or a marriage that was really holding you back. And it took you a very long time to get out of it. But when you moved away from it, you moved towards a connection that was very fulfilling. Even if it's a newer, even if it's a new connection, you know, people are just saying that you're happier. Um, you, this person seems to be romantic. You're in love. Maybe you find a soulmate. And if you notice here, the, the, um, the devil and the lovers here, it's like a mirror image. If you see, that's the same image, right? So you literally, and it's showing the knight of pentacles moving towards the love and getting away from the toxic energy here. So you're moving into a new connection and they're seeing here that you literally had to fight to overcome this relationship, to rebuild yourself. And that's why you're showing up in this empress energy. Some of you could be looking better too. Whoop. And the world card, you've completed a cycle. Some of you are very successful is what they're talking about. Look at that, six of wands, success, I'm telling you. But you've completed a cycle here. You're moving on from a situation. What are they saying about this Aries? This is not bad. I thought these this was going to be trash talking, shit talking type of readings. It's really not bad. Ace of wands here. Like you turn over a new leaf, you're like having more excitement in your life. You're having new beginnings. This is new passion. Maybe you definitely could have met someone new. The same cards are coming out. So this is a con confirmation. We got the Queen of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Page of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm, tell me about this. Uh, tell me about this Page of Cups here, Energy. Two of Swords. There could be someone specifically. <laughs> let's take it how it resonates. But this could be somebody specifically that you may have rejected, and they're telling people that you're a bitch or something like that. Just take it how it resonates. But I'm getting that right. Like, or 
it, now this, this, and right when I said, I didn't think it was going to be messy. You could have rejected someone, right? And maybe you gave them a chance. Maybe it didn't work out. But if you rejected this person and then you ended up in a relationship and there may be areas that you told this person you weren't ready to date and then you ended up in a relationship or you just rejected this person, you didn't end up in a relationship, they're talking mess about you. So it feels like somebody, it feels like somebody who can't handle a no. Okay. You may not care, but just to let you know, there's somebody who's saying something about you when you turn them down and they're making things up about you all because you either block them or you just told them no. That's what I'm getting here with the two of swords here in the page of cups. And I don't think it, I don't think it was a full blown relationship at all because of the page of cups. But, um, yeah, with the queen of swords here, they're either saying that you're mean or you're kind of bitchy or you're bitter from something previously. Like they're making things up about you just because you said no. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. So moving on to pile number three, we're going to start at 26, 26 minutes. All right. So this is for, I feel like for this part, I want to use, I'll use these three, but I also want to use the Island Time Wellness. I don't know why, but we'll see here. All right. Pile number three. What are they saying about you behind your back? Holy Spirit, where does an angel? Do you want me to go your message here for pile number three? What are they saying here about pile num number three for the behind, mm -hmm. pile number three? What are they saying about them behind their back? What are they saying about pal number three behind my back? Let's see here. Some of you could have a music career. You could be in some sort of creative industry. We got fashion, music, and youthful. Just maybe looking younger, feeling younger. And we got dark male, darker than lighter skin. You could be a dark male who's in some sort of music or creative industry as well. And we have wallflower. Limited potential, shy and withholding and beauty queen. So right off the bat, I'm getting here. Some of you could be very talented and you're showcasing your talents. Maybe a lot of people didn't expect that from you. Um, maybe you were shy growing up. Okay. And they didn't expect this side of you. Doesn't seem bad. They're just talking about how you came out of your shell. And that could be any type of creative project, any type of thing. But the first thing that came up was like music or singing or fashion or something like that. All right, let's see here. What are they saying behind this Aries? What are they saying behind this Aries back? These all have kind of mimicked the same type of energy. But I mean, what do you expect when this isn't, <laughs> this isn't all Aries channel? Let's see here. Too many parts. Give me one more. What are they saying behind this Aries back? You could have cut out a friend here. Something here about people talking about you cutting out a friend. I'm going to say that. I'm seeing that off right at the back. Let me pull three more here from here. What are they saying behind this, Aries? I'm telling you, it's the same type of energy. And I've gotten different cards, but I am reading it the same. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away in this reading. So I got to pull one more. Let me pull one more. What? Aries, I'm going to tell you this. This Aries, I feel like people like you, okay? Um, And they're rooting for you. It's a different type of energy, but similar to the other ones. You could have some sort of creative thing that you're doing, male or female, okay? And I feel like that's why spirit, like these two cards came out. You could be a male or you're a female, right? 
and maybe you used to be really shy in the past, people are rooting for you in something here. You could also be an activist or you could be standing up for something in your community and you're coming out of your shell. We got heartbroken and we got paradise. We have love. We have girl talk and we have acts, okay? So people could know that you went through a very difficult heartbreak and they're seeing you overcome that and find happiness, joy, expansion, playfulness, all right? And maybe even love. And I thought this was gonna be kind of like the same one where you're in a new relationship, but that's not it. This is what I'm getting here. Oh, also you got occupation and high honor. So you must be doing really well in your job or your career. They're talking about that. Um, but we got courtship. We got privileged lady, could be privileged lady or pri privileged male, not gender specific. We got marriage. We got distant horizons and we got sudden wealth. I feel like people know you're going to be successful. Even if you already are successful, they know that you're going to be more successful in the future. But I'm, I'm getting this energy. The reason why I kept going and I kept pulling is because I'm getting this energy of people want you to be in a relationship. Like they want you to be happy. They want something to come to you, whether it's fame, wealth, or a relationship here. Like there are people rooting for you is what I'm saying. Okay. So you could be somebody who's very kind. Maybe you were very shy in the past. You know, you're coming out of your shell. It doesn't matter what age you are. It's like you've gone through, you could have maybe went through a divorce and you're just a really nice person, good person. You didn't deserve that or whatever happened to you. People are actually hoping that you get in a good relationship, get married or have some sort of success and wealth. Like they're actually rooting for you. They want you to um, have happiness. And look, I turn over and the sun is here. That's really nice. So I don't know, maybe this is a specific person. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's people around you who have seen you go through something. Now, some of you could have, like, I, that was what I was getting, but some of you could be in a really good relationship right now. And they, you know, having, look at that, six of wands and the two of cups, having success with a soulmate or in a really good relationship and previously got your heart broke or went through something bad. So if you're in a relationship right now and it's very good, people are happy for you that you have found something that made you happy. Okay. Now let's see here. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. What are people saying about this Aries behind their back? I, did I, oh, I forgot to mark the time. I forgot to mark the time for this one. Shoot. All right, what are people saying behind this Aries back? Wheel of Fortune. Somebody has watched your whole life change or turn around, or you're there hoping that something turns around completely for you. Like having a new cycle, having luck in your favor. Maybe you're looking very lucky or just in a good energy right now here. Tell me more about this Aries and the High Priestess very spiritual here. Maybe you've overcome sort of some sort of spiritual cycle, some sort of karmic cycle here. Very tuned in, typed in. Maybe some of you are a tarot reader yourselves. Maybe you're very intuitive. You can be a healer, but there's something here about the wheel turning for you and being led and being guided. Like you're very tuned in, tapped in, and you're following your, your dreams. You're following your calling. We have the page of pentacles here. Yep. Ten of swords. I'm telling you, you've gone through some sort of, somebody could be talking about your betrayal, your ending, a very bad ending here. Three of wands. Tell me about the ten of swords. Four of wands. Yeah. Some of you could have been married and had a really, really hard divorce. Okay. With the ten of swords and the four of wands here. Um, but maybe people could, could have thought that you were going to be in this marriage or this relationship for a long time and it ended really bad and really devastating here with the 10 of swords, but you are, but they're talking about how stable you are now, how happy you are. And again, some of you could be in a new relationship, but even if you're single, they're talking about your stability, your happiness, okay. Your balance, your strength and how you overcame something. What are people saying about this Aries behind their back? What are people saying about this Aries? Look, I'm telling you, the tower in reverse fell out right on top of the Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands. This could have been something really devastating, really catastrophic. And the Nine of Wands here, you really, it was really a struggle for you to get through it. You had to persevere here and the sun came out. Tell me about this sun energy. Sun is beautiful. It's the most positive card in the deck. 
It is joy, happiness, abundance, love, new opportunities, new love. So, <clears throat> three of wands. It feels like this somebody here could still be waiting for someone to come in, but they could be talking about how emotionally grounded you are. The King of Swords, some of you give really good advice with the Page of Pentacles, or you could be a good talker, good speaker here, very educated. But I'm getting here is that some, like with the Page of Pentacles here, it's like some people are wanting to tell you how proud they are of you. And the Seven of Pentacles, how, I mean, that's Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands here. It's like you had to stand up for something. And this could be for anything. This could be something in your community. This could have been something that was near and dear to your heart, but you stood up for something and or stood up against something here. Even when it wasn't, it wasn't, and this, I don't know who this is going to resonate for, but it wasn't clear whether or not you were going to be victorious, but they're admiring you for you standing up for something or someone. This could be at a job as well. Again, the same message here as far as somebody wanting you to be in a relationship and find love with the sun and the king of cups and the queen, king of swords, people wanting whoever comes towards you to be serious about you. Okay. So some of you have, could have went through a divorce and something crazy came out. Okay. People are talking. Okay. People are talking. Somebody definitely got cheated on with the seven of cups and they're talking about how you got you, how you were so strong through it. And so optimistic with the three of wands, how you remained optimistic and positive through this situation. You didn't let it take you down. Give me more. Even you're showing up at the bottom of the deck with the emperor. Give me more about this. What are people saying about Aries behind their back? Three of Pentacles. You're rebuilding. I'm telling you, period. You're rebuilding. You're leveling up here. Maybe you're getting your finances back together. You're healing. Okay. And you're loving yourself. I mean, <laughs> Queen of Cups energy here. You're feeling good. Like, I'm telling you, that's what they're talking about. And you're winning. The Ace of Swords. Also, they're saying here that you're something here. You told the truth or your honesty here. You were victorious in the situation. But somebody here thinks that you were honest or you were telling the truth in the situation. Okay? So maybe you didn't know that. Eight of Wands here. Very positive communication going on behind your back. Like, this is not anything. I'm not seeing anything negative. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about that. Six of Wands. Okay, Queen of Pentacles upright. Some of you could have invested in a situation and you didn't, you walked away with nothing or you invested in a situation and it wasn't fruitful. Like you spent a lot of time and effort investing in a situation, but when you walked away, that's when you won. You still were blessed. You still got everything back here with the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. And it's almost like Eight of, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's almost like you're better now than you were before. Okay, because even the nine of cups is at the bottom of the deck. So it, like that could be some for somebody married or just in a relationship in general, but something that you were working at or some of you, let me tell you this, this is not a relationship. You could have been working at a dead end job. Okay. And or went to school for something. Okay. You could have work, been working at a dead end job or went to school for something and like you didn't use your degree. Right. Or the dead end job didn't go anywhere and you quit. And when you quit and you started doing your own thing, you were 10 times more successful than working at that dead end job or not being able to use your degree. Okay. That's very specific, but that is what it is. Like they're seeing, somebody is seeing that you, um, had the strength, the tenacity and the willpower, and you created something out of nothing. And I feel like people thought you weren't going to make it here with the eight of pentacles in reverse. They thought like it was something was a lost cause or a wasted effort. And honey, they was wrong. <laughs> okay. They were wrong. All right. So maybe they're seeing that you are climbing to the top right now. I almost want to do one more of these, but I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to leave it right here. Okay. So that was three piles. I'm going to have to go back and watch and see when um, pile number three started. Hopefully somebody got it for me, but uh, I'm going to take a look at that. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Bye.